Yeah, hi. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. So let's talk about this because this always freaking makes me angry. I mean, I'm not angry. I'm fucking angry. It just let's just say, just it irritates your brain if you watch wrestling and when you go to watch WWE and then you freaking it. First of all, okay, let's let's just get to the point. So the draft just happened, right? First of all, I don't know why the draft is in freaking October and shit like that. It just happened. Uh, I don't know why. You know, you see, it would make sense maybe more better if it happened maybe in back in March in, or April, like how it usually does. April or May. Like how you did the draft before. And then you would probably do this type of shit. But here's the thing. First of all, so... Survivor so Series is unfortunately one of the worst of the big four, right? It doesn't need to be the, the case. That doesn't need to be the case. Survivor Series can be exciting if you actually do something. Look at fucking past Survivor Series that were exciting. You know, look at 2002. 2002 Survivor Series is probably one of the best Survivor Series I've ever fucking seen. Alright? Uh, 1998. 1998 freaking... That's when you had the Deadly Games Tournament. Even freaking there were some few Survivor Series that had title match. That had freaking the, the five. Not just only the title match. But also the five on five. Freaking 2003. Even 2004. Just 2005. 2005 is one of the best. And that's how you do a Raw versus Smackdown by the way people. That's how you do Raw versus Smackdown Survivor Series style. That is how you do it. Okay, that's how you do a Raw vs. SmackDown Survivor Series tag match. You know? But now, for some dumb reason, Survivor Series, which used to be something special, sure, 5-on-5, five five, you know, Survivor Series tag matches. Sometimes it'll include champions. But now, if you really think about it, fucking Survivor Series is so goddamn retarded. And now, for some reason, WWE decided to make Survivor Series interesting. Because that's the only way to make this fucking Survivor Series fucking pay-per-views nowadays is interesting. Even though it's not interesting at all anymore. You kind of beat it to the point they where who fuck gives a shit anymore. You're doing the whole bragging rights gimmick. So yeah, first of all, so yeah, this is basically my video to talk about this fucking format. So since 2016, which by the way, literally right after they did a draft, by the, uh, they decided to do a brand, like, r remember when they just literally 2016, they did fucking uh, the brand split, and then right after a few months, they decided, you know what, let's do Raw vs. SmackDown without any fucking story, without any reason, and literally right, right after they started to redo the brand split again. And it made no sense. Okay? And then 2017 made no sense either by having champion versus champion. Why the fuck is there champions versus champions? You know, when those type of matches you would see on a Raw and SmackDown. Why are you doing on a pay-per-view? Like, look, that's the thing. It's a pay-per-view, by the way. These are pay-per-views. Yet we are not getting title matches. You know how fucking stupid that is? We're not getting title matches. We're just being given... A fucking champion versus champion match where we have to pay money nine ninety nine for a fucking network or shit like that to see that kind of crap, and then we'll see Raw versus SmackDown, basically a lesser, ver cooler version than the ones from two thousand five. That's what basically these fucking Survivor Series has been over the years. It's basically a lesser, cooler version of the two thousand five Survivor Series, except there are no title matches. It's champion versus champion for some dumb reason. Is bragging rights. Why we're getting bragging rights. At least with bragging rights when it was a thing, we had title matches. You know it was stupid to have champion versus champions and shit? At least it was... I know, at least you kind of... I mean, did you put some effort? Maybe? I don't know. Now you put no effort. First of all, like right now, look at the fucking build to Survivor Series. They're not even building to those champion versus champion matches. Because apparently that's what they're going to do. They're going to still do... Biggie versus Roman for some dumb reason. They're gonna do fucking Becky versus Charlotte for some reason. Why? And then they'll do some last minute change where one of the champions loses their championships.
to make it so, and where you kind of ruin a, the progress, even if you make for a build up to the map. Who the fuck cares? But here's the thing the reality is, this is so dumb and retarded because you just did a draft. And now you're do again another like fucking Raw versus SmackDown Survivor Series type of shit. And all of a sudden now the superstars have brand lineage. They ha they care about their brand when literally they just get drafted to that fucking brand. Don't get like really what the, what sense does that make? What sense does that make? You know what I mean? Obviously, don't get me wrong, the draft is retarded. They're drafting people that's already on the show, but even the new people. So one month it takes for them to love their new brand. I don't know. I don't know. Overall, I just think that WWE needs to fucking stop with this fucking brand warfare type of shit because it's just the cheap excuse to make people care about Survivor Series. Is it really that hard? To do a traditional Survivor Series match where you have the good guys and the bad guys. Like, you could base it off a specific feud. And people who are feuding, they just basically team up and face, they face their rivals. Is it really that hard? You know, case in point. I mean, I understand the feud is over, but this would have been a good example. Maybe, like, you could have done the Hell in a Cell match in, like, December if they were to do the match. But, like, look, case in point. Edge versus Rollins was a feud that was going on. Imagine maybe what you could have done for a Survivor Series big uh, Survivor Series match, and it doesn't need to be Raw and SmackDown. Like, like looking back, but I'll get to the point. But imagine Team Edge and Team Rollins, something like that. Is it that hard to do something like that? A Survivor Series tag match where you base it off that, and the people don't need to be in the same brand. Look at fucking two thousand and eight. Uh, of what I remember. Team HBK versus Team JBL. You had people that were on Raw and SmackDown facing their rivals. It didn't need to be about Raw versus SmackDown. It could even be like, let's say SmackDown. 2003, Team Angle versus Team Lesnar from SmackDown. And Team Raw, uh, like on, on Raw side, you had Team Bischoff versus Team Austin. And guess what? There were stories in those matches. There were rivals that hate each other on both sides and make you care about the fucking tag team match. 2004, Team Orton versus Team Evolution. Uh, like, Survivor Series. Even fucking Team Eddie versus Team fucking Kurt Angle. Is it that hard? Is it that hard? I don't think so. I really don't think so. It's not that hard to make a fucking Survivor Series. And you can definitely still do title matches. There should not be an excuse for not doing title matches. Because look at the past years. Why you can't do it now. I don't get it. It's not about... Honestly, it's really not about hard to make a Survivor Series. Like fucking Survivor Series is going to be in New York. And I'm not going to go to New York and do that shit. Because I don't want to see the same old fucking Raw vs. Smackdown boring ass shit. And Champion vs. Champion. I want to see... Sh Cool, exciting shit going on. There's no wonder why people don't give a shit about Survivor Series. But I feel like you really ruined it even more to the point that who gives a shit about Survivor Series even with their brand to brand crap. Because you kind of ruined it even more with this format. Why Why is it fucking bragging rights? Why is it fucking just basically bragging rights 2.0 now? Why? Why are you doing that shit? It, it, it ruined the fucking... It just basically ruined... You've done it to death. You have done the fucking Raw vs. SmackDown format to death. What's the point to do it? Especially it doesn't make any sense after a fucking draft. So overall, dear WWE, I know you're not going to listen. But forgot, and it's already done. But like hopefully for future years, stop with the fucking brand, 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 brand warfare shit. Especially when you're not even building up to it. And also, there's really no real hatred. You know, it, it's just a cheap excuse to make people tend to care when they're not going to care. Why should I care about Big E versus Reigns? Obviously, that's fucking... You know fucking Reigns is going to win. It makes no sense for Big E to win. But, like... If you want to do something... Obviously, it would be more exciting if you combined the titles. I would love to see that. But you're not going to do that. You're not going to fucking have the titles combined. You're just going to do the same shit every fucking year from Survivor Series. That's why Survivor Series is not exciting anymore. And to... Even do brand versus brand kind of type of shit ruin it even more. So, yeah, it's not that hard. You just fuck it. If you're gonna do Survivor Series, like I, I don't, I don't want to see Survivor Series like no more Survivor Series because it is one of the big four, right? 
just make it exciting. I don't understand. Like, how, is it that hard? Don't do the brand for brand warfare shit. Again, you you could do a fucking Survivor Series type of match, but it, as long as like you know what makes the what, like the old Survivor Series type matches good, like a rivalry going involved, and they have their own teams. It's not that hard, and you should do title matches. At least in 2019, you had title matches of your own, which made sense. And it was cool. Even though fucking the main event sucked. Look what you did, like, when you did the fucking few matches there with their own title matches. At least you had people to care. I enjoyed Mysterio versus Lesnar because of shit like that, you know? Even though so retarded, like, you decided to do brand, like, just announce, just announcing it is so stupid, you know? So, I mean, I don't know. I just think it's dumb. Like, I, I, I hate, I hate this, I hate this shit. I hate Survivor Series. Um... And that's just what I want to talk about. I just want to talk about this because it's happening. You know, Survivor Series coming up and we're going to have to deal with this shit. I just hope in future Survivor Series, or just f fuck it. Like, I don't know. In the end of the day, Survivor Series doesn't need to be about bragging rights type of shit. You know, because you, you ruined the fucking format. You're just basically trying to be like 2005 all over again. But it's like the lesser, cooler version. Okay? Or you're trying to you're trying to be like bragging rights 2009 or 2010 when literally if you it's a sad thing where you look back at bragging rights as a better pay per view than nowadays at least with back then you had shit to look forward to you know what I mean bragging rights 2009 2010 those are like better pay per views than fucking current day WWE type of shit like what the fuck and bragging rights was going on at PG era even though it's still PG but whatever. I'm not saying like complain about the rating, but like for seriously, the PG era where everything had to be so kiddish and shit. Now it's just fucking for smartiness. Cause all sparks care about is matches. All these matches about the the champion versus champ. Cause yeah, apparently that's what they only care about. They don't even care about stories. But yeah, overall, stop with the champion versus championship kind of crap. Stop with the brand warfare. Actually, fucking do what was cool like back in the day. Have some title matches for fuck's sakes. I don't know. And. Stop with the, you know, even stop with the fucking two titles. I'm tired of seeing two titles on fucking because they you don't need it. You're ruin your your garbage. You don't need two women's titles. You don't even need two world titles, please. You don't even need two tag titles. You're, yeah, seriously, we're gonna and there's no stories anyways with these champion versus champion matches and even fucking raw versus SmackDown team matches. God, it's, I don't know. Be like how you did where like this, like 2008, 2007, basically from the 2000s and even 1990s. It's not that hard. God. Alright, I'm just gonna see people. I'm just keep it real. Go back to your old format with Survivor Series, because, you know, it is what it is. Till next time, peace. Yeah, bye. Tricky Cole, stop at this, please. Alright, bye, people. Fuck Survivor Series and fuck Brain Warfare bragging rights type of shit. God damn it.